Hey everybody and welcome to the next episode of Epic Arma. Today we are going to do or to redo a scenario I really liked with my uh, with my new PC and that is a air versus naval combat scenario uh, in Arma 2. Uh the reason why is because we're going to be World War 2 units so we're going to be the Japanese zeros uh, attacking several naval units. Uh reason why we cannot do that yet in Arma 3 is because those units are not available yet. And what I want to do, and I haven't actually done this yet, this time will be just a, uh, a us attacking uh, the ships from the, from the perspective of the airplanes. But in a later video, uh, I will actually be on the ships uh, for the very first time, and you can actually uh, see how the battle goes on um, as, a, as I'm part of the ship, and I can actually walk around the ship. The ship models will be different. Uh, but let's take it. Uh, let's take it for a spin, shall we? Just one word of warning: it will be very, very laggy uh, on the moment where uh, two forces exchange fire, uh, and after that, it will actually subside and uh, get better. Now there are about 310 planes that I'm using. Of which some actually already crash in the water because they're too close to each other, but whatever. But, um... It is almost the actual amount that were used in Pearl Harbor. Of course, they had different types, like uh, torpedo planes as well, which are not in this version. We're going to do this twice. Uh, here I'm doing this from the up top so you can see all the planes below us. Next time we will actually go under it and you will see all the planes above us. There you can see the boats. They stand absolutely no chance. The explosions are there to show that they're hit and they're gonna sink really quick. Most of the ships are now broken and slowly the frames will now start to stabilize. Now, a weird thing about this, and I don't think I've had this before, I don't know why, but for some reason, slowly but surely, the, the planes will lose power and will actually land in the water. You can actually see that happen right there with that one. Yep. And this will happen to all of them eventually. Including to my plane. And slowly I will be losing altitude. Unless I keep like juggling it like this. Anyway, the battle is over, so let's actually start it again, but this time actually uh, see the fleet from uh, under it. As you can see here, all the planes that are... I don't know what the fuck that is. As you can see, this is kind of the imagery that you would see probably from the boats or the shores, which is pretty freaking intimidating. And there's still even units below us. And again, if people make the argument like that I should have a better PC or that they better, like, I challenge them to make a scenario including 310 planes fighting ships like this.
because as you can see, it's mostly the conflict that's doing it. Again, when the conflict is over, it stabilizes. So this probably means that it's also laggy if you would put them against other planes. Which of course would be reminiscent of the battle at Coral Sea. Anyway guys, that is it for this scenario. Oh god, I'm losing altitude really quick. Yeah, my speed was not good. Yeah, speed. So, yeah, I'm gonna crash. So I hope you guys liked it. Leave those comments and suggestions for Epic Arma in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys next time.